Hello and uh, welcome back for another lecture. In this lecture, um, we're going to talk about the gas law. Take a look at this problem we have here. And we got this rigid container. Uh, at the initial stage, the temperature is 27 degrees centigrade. And the pressure is the gauge pressure. Be careful. It's a gauge pressure at 300 kilopascal. And then uh, the system is heated. And then it goes to uh, stage 2, with the pressure become 367 pascal. And a local atmosphere pressure is one atmosphere, one atmosphere pressure. And the question is asking, um, uh, what is the temperature in the uh, final stage? So if you remember uh, what we had before uh, from the uh, gas law, we had PV is equal MRT. And we have two stages here. We can say, okay, um, make this P1, V1, T1, and we're going to say P2, of course, V1 and V2 are equal, <coughs> MRT2. And if we take these two equations, if we divide these two together, it's going to have uh, P, V1 and V2 are the same container, not going anywhere. So we can say those both a V. So I'm going to have P1, V, divided by uh, P2, V, and they cancel each other out, equal M, R, T1, M, R, T2. These cancel each other out. So I remain with um, P1, divided by P2, is equal basically uh, T1 divided by T2. Then I can say T2 is equal P2 times T1 divided by uh, P1. So we know T1 is given at 27 degrees centigrade. We have got to convert that to a Kelvin. And we're going to say T1 is equal stop here uh, 27 plus uh, 273.15 so T1 comes out to uh, so that comes out to uh, 300.15 Kelvin and same thing go for the pressure the pressure we talked about this at the beginning of the semester pressure is given as a gauge pressure it's not absolute pressure when we use this equation, it has to be absolute pressure. So the absolute pressure is going to be uh, the formula, if you remember, we had a while back, is uh, P1 is equal P of atmosphere plus P of uh, gauge. So therefore, in our P1 is going to be 300 uh, kilopascal. And plus the... Uh, uh, atmosphere, this is the gauge we just read, and up here, pressure uh, comes out to uh, 101.325, 101.325 uh, kilopascal, and that should come out to 401.325. And same thing go with the P2 which we have, and P2 comes out to uh, 367 plus 101.325, and that comes out to, uh, so that comes out to 468.3. Kilopascal, and uh, to find our T two, going back up uh, right here. So uh, T two comes out to. Uh, I'm gonna come over here. T two, gonna come out to uh, P two, which is four sixty eight point uh, three two five divided by uh, P1 at 
0.325 multiply T1 300.15 Kelvin and that comes out to 5025 that comes out to 350.25 Kelvin but the answer wants to know in uh, centigrade so I'm going to say uh, T is equal T2 in centigrade is equal uh, 350.25 minus 273.15 and that gives me uh, 77.1 centigrade so this is that let's move on to the next problem so the problem says uh, air containing a piston cylinder assembly initially at 2 bar and uh, pressure is 2 bar and uh, T is at uh, 2200 2, Kelvin and uh, uh, volume is 1 liter and then it goes under the process stage uh, something that the pressure become 8 bar and the volume become 2 liter and one thing is interesting it says uh, the pressure volume relationship is linear and then they want to know what is the uh, W work and uh, P in kilojoule but uh, uh, here it says the uh, pressure volume our relationship are linear so if I have a pressure right here and volume relationship are linear so my P1 is equal this is a one liter right here and make this two liter so this is to make this one bar and this will become two and basically this is one point as we the second point it's linear it's like that okay so work we remember was uh, is equal uh, P B V and uh, that's basically is uh, P average in this case the linear and it's going to be uh, V2 delta V which is V2 minus V1 um, so I can say it's basically uh, P1 plus P2 divided by 2 times V2 minus V1 okay let's plug in number so W comes out to uh, P1 was uh, 2 plus 8 and that's bar that's bar so 1 bar we know is equal 10 by power 5 Newton per meter square so I'm going to go and say that's going to be time 10 by 5 Newton per meter square remember our unit got to be in kilojoule so that's that time volume which is a, a full 2 liter minus 1 and that's in liter all right and the answer asking for kilojoule remember we said when you have to do these the unit part is the hardest part sometimes if they're looking for kilojoule and look at the unit they have up in the uh, board um, we can say all right one kilojoule is a uh, 1000 newton per meter so i can say okay one kilojoule is 1000 newton meter now remember one thing here is uh the answer is looking for kilojoule so kilojoule gotta be on top now i got newton meter i got newton per meter square that works out good but i got a liter i gotta get rid of liter what is liter that mean if i have to get rid of the liter this is l that mean i got to divide by liter whatever it's going to be it's going to be bottom it's going to be liter so one liter is equal what and we know one liter is equal uh, uh, 10 by power negative 3 cubic meter now we have that um, the unit should work out 
Lena are gonna cancel each other out. Meet at the what two of those gonna go so it's gonna meet a square. Newton gonna cancel out, meet a square gonna cancel out, all I got left is a killer Joel. And that should come out to four and five kilo Joel. There. Energy balance equation we had it was uh M time uh u2 minus u1 that equal uh, q minus w in this case we already found w so we want to find out what q is and we're going to say q is equal uh, m time u2 minus u1 plus w this equation we know this we don't know this let's find out what m comes out to and we knew that p v is equal m r t and therefore m is going to be equal in this case we're going to say p1 v1 t1 and uh it's going to be p v divided by r T, which is equal but we don't know r either so we got to calculate r so this p is come out to uh, um, 2 time 10 by power 5 newton meter squared and v is uh, 1 liter Let's calculate R. I'm going to go ahead and make a room right here. I can do it right here, actually. We said R is equal R bar divided by M. And if we look at the table, it was uh, 8.314 R bar, 8.314 that's kilojoule divided by uh, kilomole Kelvin and uh, molecular weight is given by uh, this table right here table uh, A-1E and that comes out to 28.97 go ahead and uh, Put that in there. So I'm going to come in here, right here. Put in uh, 8.314 divided by uh, 28.97. And PV and T was in Kelvin. We had T1 is equal to 200 Kelvin. Of course, we have liter. We got to get a liter to make this to a kilogram. Uh, we got Newton meter. We got uh, so it's going to be multiplied by for converting this liter. It's gonna, so we have one liter is uh, we got to get rid of that. So it's ten by minus three cubic meter divided by uh, uh, one liter. However, I got a problem here. I got to fix this up. We said this was a kilojoule per kilomole. And this is a kilogram uh, per kilomole. So these two kind of cancel each other out. And I'm going to have kilojoule over kilomole. And kilojoule, we said it was uh, 1,000 newton per meter squared. So if I multiply this by 1,000, let me move this out here a little bit. If I multiply this by 1,000, and my unit's going to come out as a newton meter divided by a kilogram. Then I have 200 Kelvin. And that should come out to uh, 2 more oh, Kelvin right here. So this Kelvin gonna be a Kelvin right here. So this Kelvin gonna cancel with this Kelvin. That's okay. 
and they're going to cancel out. And uh, this killer is going to go on top. Newton Meter is going to cancel out with. Uh, they're going to cancel out with uh, Newton Meter. All I have left over is a kilogram, and that's going to come out to. Uh, Point zero zero three five kilogram. So we have everything. Now we're gonna find out what T two is. That way, when we have T two and T one and T two, we can find uh, U one and U two. So we're gonna do that just like last problem. We're gonna say we're gonna say P one V one is equal M R T one, and we are gonna have P two V two M R T2 and if we use those we should be able to uh, go ahead and divide them by each other and it's going to be a P1 divided by P2 D1 D2 and that equal uh, these two are going to cancel each other out so it's going to be T1 divided by T2 so if we plug all of them in, P1 was uh, 2 bar, they're going to cancel each other out by, by 8, so don't worry about the unit there, and V1 or V2 is basically time 1 over 2, time 1 over 2, and then we have equal T1, which was uh, given us 200, divided by, we don't know, T2. So that's going to become, uh, that give me T2 is equal 1600 Kelvin. Okay. So now we got to go to table A22. Is equal uh point zero zero three five kilogram and table a twenty two is gonna say uh for u two at sixteen hundred degrees twelve ninety eight point three twelve ninety eight point three minus and then at uh two hundred degree it's gonna be one forty two fifty six minus one forty two point fifty six that's it, and uh, it's a kilojoule, and it's going to come out to uh, O plus plus W plus 0.5 plus 0.5, which was W. So that comes out to uh, four point five five kilojoule.